last horse. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gonna die. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world. And one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like, walk like that. Grab stuff at the same time. And bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their friends. Through hell. We need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now the business, money, writing, laws, power, society. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? No. Why? This Tired of using rocks for everything? Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Introducing bras. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. And now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. Not that I mentioned. In this Civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in China. Uh, maybe it's those horse people I was talking about, or their cousins, or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You can There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Oh, ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're dying. You can make a religion out of this. Breaking Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of Egypt. Meanwhile, but what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom, it's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep, deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, a real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them, I don't like God! You may be least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Whoops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to China. Said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Oh, please, no, please, no, please. No. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean. Made India. Over Timurids, maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's that's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 90 said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what they can make? Many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Germany's back, 
featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. But out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown, United States versus Japan. Fight! Fight. So they drop it on Japan. They actually drop two. 